CyberCube helps the cyber insurance markets to grow profitably through the use of world-leading cyber risk analytics. They develop financial models for risk placement, insurance underwriting and portfolio optimization and risk aggregation to tackle some of the hardest problems confronting the insurance markets. CyberCube was selected as one of the World Economics Forum's technology pioneers, meaning that they are poised to have a significant impact on business and society. At DIA Primetime, they will present their innovative Broking Manager solution, a new software as a service application designed specifically for the insurance brokers. This solution empowers brokers to quantify and explain cyber risk exposure to their clients without becoming experts in information security. Broking Manager promotes informed conversations that will ultimately lead to better buying decisions. Next on DIA Primetime, CyberCube. Hi John, welcome at DIA Primetime. Could you please tell us in one sentence what CyberCube is about? CyberCube is a cyber risk analytics platform built specifically for insurers, brokers, and reinsurers. And how did the company originate? So CyberCube was born out of endpoint security and technology company Symantec and is dedicated to solving the most complex problems facing the cyber risk ecosystem. We seek to be the common currency in the cyber risk insurance community. Are you doing that all by yourself? Um, community suggests you're open to work with many others. Yes, good observation, definitely. We partner with a variety of data providers and combine with our experienced cross-disciplinary team of cybersecurity analysts, data scientists, engineers, actuaries, statisticians, economists, and underwriters to provide unique modeling and analytical insights that help drive the understanding of cyber exposure and adoption of applicable financial risk transfer. Now, this spring you launched a new product, Broking Manager. Can you tell a bit more about that? So with Broking Manager, we set out to tackle the most fundamental question facing brokers today. What coverages and limits do companies need? We apply advanced analytics to help answer those questions. Broking Manager facilitates quick and efficient client insight for both generalist and special cyber, uh, special cyber brokers. The product is built to help brokers quantify, understand, and explain to their clients the sources of financial impact of cyber risk exposure. Enterprises, both large and small, are increasingly looking to brokers to help them both understand and transfer the financial risks attributable to cyber threats and we're confident that Broking Manager will be a tremendous tool to help brokers fill this need. Yes, your solution is really very timely. The COVID outbreak immediately led to a dramatic increase in cyber threats. According to Bitdefender, the number of digital attacks in March was no less than 475% higher than in February. Can you explain more about what the CyberCube solution consists of? Sure. At its core, Broking Manager reports are split into two main categories, financial exposure and threat modeling. Financial exposure models how much an enterprise stands to lose should they experience a cyber event. Said in another way, we tell companies how much a bad day could cost and what threats are putting them at financial risk. The threat model quantifies the sources of cyber threat that are driving that financial exposure. The threat model is where we diverge most from the vast majority of security scanning companies on the market today. We employ a framework based on routine activity theory, which is an academic theory that states that for a crime to occur, you have to have the physical convergence of the following three things, actor, target, and lack of a capable guardian. This framework allows us to move away from the technicalities of cyber risk exposure and present information in a way that is both valuable and digestible by typical business practitioners. It yeah, sounds on the one hand very well thought through, while on the other hand also very practical. Can you show us how the solution looks like for a user? That's definitely true. From speaking with several brokers over the last year, we've learned that it's critical to avoid any friction in the sales cycle. So we've designed a very streamlined process for getting the first set of analysis results. Let me show you in a demo. It's best to walk through this in context, so I'll go through a simple example. 
Say you're working with a small sized healthcare company. You simply create a new account and search for the company by name. In some cases, our search engine may return several companies with similar names. So we've added this filter and sort functionality to enable you to uh, zero in on the specific company that you're looking for. You then select the company and you'll see that we pre-populated several fields based on information contained in our enterprise intelligence layer. We also allow you to enter number and type of records stored by the company, as well as creating contact information for the buyer. Once you add the company, you're taken to the default analysis page where we are running a modeled simulation of 50,000 years of events and set up the company threat benchmarking information all for your consumption. This page is really split into three sections. The top section is the basic firmographic information like industry, revenue, and region. And next is the company's financial exposure to cyber risk. And last is the results of our cyber threat scoring engine. Focusing on the first, the financial exposure is broken into four categories. Aggregate financial exposure, which represents a company's aggregate financial exposure to cyber threats. And then three additional subcategories, which each represent exposure to individual threats. Data breach, network outage, and software impairment. You can then view the details of each of these categories by simply clicking to expand the panel. The first panel is the aggregate financial exposure. This represents the severity of a cyber event should one occur to the company. Next, you have each of uh, the major perils, which you can view by just expanding the section. And this then shows the severity distribution of what such an incident would cost. On the right, you can see the types of costs one might incur in the event of such an incident. And then below, you can see how these, the cost of these incidents is broken down into major cost components tied to an insurance policy. These are designed to empower brokers to help their clients understand where they will incur costs in the event of an incident and better understand the magnitude of those costs based on the severity and likelihood of the incident. Below the financial analysis, you have the threat model results. Here you can see all the cyber threats that make up the financial exposure sh shown above and how the company ranks relative to its peers. In the default state, like we are in now, this is showing the micro segment compared to the broader industry. This is because we use limited company specific information here and we want to give a sense of what threats are of particular concern for the industry. Clicking on any of these gives more context and detail about the threat, but to view company specific results here, we will need to provide responses to the assessment questionnaire. I'll scroll up here and click into the assessment. Questions in the assessment are split into three categories, security posture, business operations, and records count. These questions map to what is asked in most cyber insurance applications. We also have a feature that allows you to send this questionnaire to the buyer representative you are working with. We can answer a few questions just for example's sake. Once we save them and update the analysis, you will see that the financial exposure results uh, are updated. And scrolling down, we now have the updated cyber threats to compare the company to its peers. You can now click on any one of these recalculated risks and see the drivers of this cyber threat. As I mentioned before, these are calculated by breaking down uh, the major sources of risk of exposure to a company. Very impressive, John. Uh, and as said, really in sync with the increase in cyber threat. Can you share something about how Broking Manager has taken off since you launched this in spring? Response to Broking Manager has been tremendous so far, and we've seen a rapid adoption of the product across the insurance broking market, from the largest brokerages to small independent offices. If you're interested, just send me an email at johna at cybecube.com and I will explain how Broking Manager would be able to help you as well. Thanks, John. I'm sure many insurers will take you up on that.